Hey y'all, good morning. It's Sherry with Country Couponing Chicks and we are going to try a little something different using my Dash Waffle Iron. Now this is just a single serve waffle iron and you guys have probably seen me use this quite a few times. I have made regular waffles and I have made chaffles, which is just egg and cheese put together, but they make an amazing breakfast sandwich or any kind of sandwich you use that as your bread. Well, this morning, I'm going to try something a little different. We had some leftover mashed potatoes. I just covered these up and put them in the refrigerator last night. And I absolutely love tater cakes. Do you guys know tater cakes? Because if you grew up with tater cakes, well, we're going to find out if these are any good. That's what we're going to do. We're going to find out. Now, I have about a half, about two cups, actually, of leftover mashed potatoes in here. I didn't measure them out. This is approximate. So we're going to give these a try, and we're going to try to make some cheesy tater cakes this morning. So I'm going to be adding in some cheese, and I like onion in my potato cake. So I'm going to be putting in a little bit of minced onion. Now over here, I have some all-purpose flour. This is a fourth a cup. I don't think we're going to need a fourth a cup, but I measured it out just in case. So I'm just going to sprinkle in a little of the flour. Now I don't know why you sprinkle in the flour. I just know that's what my mom always did, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to try and get this mixed up. These were cold right out of the refrigerator. I probably should have let them come to room temperature, but I wanted to get finished with breakfast this morning so I could get on with my day. So I'm just gonna start mixing that in a little bit, and then I'm going to start adding in my minced onion. And I like quite a bit of onion, y'all. Onion and potatoes. If you ever done fried potatoes with onions and bacon, bacon grease, y'all? Mm-hmm, that is something else. All right, we're gonna add a little extra salt, not a lot extra, and some extra black pepper because when you're eating tater cakes, you like to have a little extra black pepper in there. And we're gonna get in here and mix again because we're gonna try to make sure that all that flour is mixed up with those potatoes. And I probably didn't even use a fourth of that fourth. Once again, it all depends on how many potatoes that you have. Now, I already have my little waffle maker plugged up, so it's getting hot. And once again, I have not tried this. So, we are just experimenting together this morning. All right, now I think that flour is mixed in pretty good. and I'm not gonna add any more. There's one thing, I have no idea what's going to happen in this little waffle maker. But I'm going to dig my little hand in here, and I'm going to take out quite a bit of cheese. I probably got a half a cup of cheese in that, in my hand, and we may add some more. I want to be able to see that cheese. Now, I haven't ever sprayed my waffle maker before. I know some people do. I might spray it just a little bit since I'm making potatoes and they are already dry. I do not want them to stick to the waffle maker. All right, I can even smell my onions in there, y'all, and they smell pretty doggone good. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit more cheese, y'all, because I'm just in a cheesy kind of mood this morning. And this bag needs to be used up, so I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. Okay. Now, how I'm going to do this is pretty much the way my mama always made these. Okay, let me see if I can get around here and get some of my spray without knocking over the, the um, light here or dropping anything else on my head. Y'all, excuse me for a minute. Okay. I have just some of the butter spray. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit on that. Like I said, I don't do it on pancakes or anything like that or waffles, but I'm gonna, gotta be careful. I don't wanna get all of my stuff on back. Ooh, okay, okay, we got a little butter. Got a little spray butter on there, y'all. Now, I'm gonna do it just like my mama. And I'm gonna take me a little spoon full and I'm gonna pat it out. Now, my hands are all nice and washed. So, and, I, and it's not gonna spread in there probably, so it might spread a little. We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out together. This one may not be a full size because it's not gonna be as big, but I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it right down in there and I'm gonna close that lid and I'm gonna close it tight so the potatoes can go in all those little squares. And the light came on, which means it's hot enough. 
I think. I don't actually go by the lights. I just kind of check. Now, I won't be eating but a couple of these myself this morning, but I'll just put that back in the refrigerator. And then if someone else hops up hungry this morning, one of the grands or the hubby, I can make them some potato cakes if they want some too. Tater cakes. That's what we grew up calling them, tater cakes. And I'm going to give this just a minute because I'm going to try to see if I can't get these crispy and golden before they pop out of here. I hear it. I know it's doing something in there. I hope you guys have a great day planned today. I think I'm going to do some more gardening. I'm going to go uh, to town with some friends. So, yeah. I think it's going to be a good day today. All right. So, we are just hanging on here while we're waiting on this. Let's see if I can lift it yet. Look there. It is cooking. It is cooking. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. And it may need more flour. I don't know for sure, but we're gonna find out. Now here we have my second attempt. I know you missed the first attempt, but I did not put enough flour in it. So I went ahead and went back and used the entire fourth a cup of flour with the two cups of potatoes. And this looks so much better. The first one did not make a waffle. It was just kind of runny. So this one actually turned out much better. It stayed together and it looks like a waffle. So I'm gonna make one more of these, you guys, and then I am going to throw me down some ketchup because I have to have some ketchup with my tater cakes and I'm gonna have some breakfast. Y'all have a good day. We'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.